sucker's heavy. An e-bike is your best toad for a small RV. Driving a big RV in the highways, uh, not too bad, but once you get off the major roads, this view is pretty small, easy to maneuver, and you can even park around the street. Spot right there. Pull right in here. Alrighty. And then again, after a long day of driving, the last thing you want to do is hop back into your RV, and that's where the toad comes in. in RV travels, we don't stay in one spot very long. We usually just keep moving. As a matter of fact, only once did we spend three days in the same spot. So yeah, most of our trips involve uh, going to see family. After a couple of days there, we want to hit the road again. My e-bike towed can take me most places, except for really soft sand, but in this uh, wetter sand right here where it's packed down, no problem, just ride right along. And I don't even have wide tires. Uh, yeah, we got a bit of a high tide today. Anyway, uh, last thing you want to be doing after a long day of driving the RV is get in and drive some more. So your e-bike will get you around, take you almost anywhere you want to go. Not only that, you'll get plenty of exercise. Wow, a lot of seaweed today. Wonder what's happening up at the pier. E-biking gives you a chance to stretch your legs after a long day of driving. You can also ride around town. It's a lot faster than walking. It uh, has a lot of health benefits. Uh, as a matter of fact, we are at an ice cream place. So if you ride for five miles, you can stop for an ice cream, guilt-free. As a matter of fact, if I ride for 30 minutes, I'll burn enough calories for a double scoop of ice cream. Exploring, we're back to the RV.